Good afternoon, folks. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Wave. If this video is helpful, please subscribe right down there below. Click the notifications. Send me your wonderful comments, and remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. If you want to reach out to us on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook, I'll try to answer your automotive-related questions. If you want to let my videos play while you're doing your stuff, that is super helpful. I greatly appreciate y'all. So what we're working on today is a very dirty 2007 Audi Q7. I was going to show you the brake sequence. I looked it up in the service manual, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't look like we have to do anything with the scanner, even though it mentions it. I don't think we're going to have to. Um, but I wanted to explain to you what you do first. Okay, so we're about to bleed the brakes out on this here. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys what was going on. So these are your wheel sensors. And basically what they do is they sense the amount of brake pad that you have. And they're like a magnet and when that magnet makes contact with the rotor it takes it off right now it's sitting about oh about two fingernail lengths away from the brake rotor and when that brake pad wears down enough to where that can make contact with the brake rotor it starts making contact with that and then tells your computer that your brake pads are bad you can also look at your brake fluid if your brake fluid is way down then your brake pads are probably worn out in this situation, we're just going to bleed the brake cell. And like I'm going to say here in a second, there's two bleeders. We found that one of our bleeder screws was completely clogged during this procedure. And we believe that whenever somebody replaced the brake pads, they must have broke the bleeder screw loose for some reason and didn't take the bleeder screw all the way out and clean it like we're going to show you. So hopefully this is helpful. So you're going to go to the right rear, which is the passenger side. You're going to do the inboard caliper first, which is right over here. Pretty simple stuff. So our inboard is this side, and you'll notice that there's two bleeder screws here. When you take these calipers apart, if you're taking them apart, make sure you just slide the pins out. Do not remove the caliper. Do not separate the bolts and break the caliper in half because you will cause yourself problems. So, with my assistant here, um, we're going to pump up the brakes, then, he, then we're going to hold it, and he's going to open the bleeder, fluid's going to squirt out, and the pedal's going to go to the floor. He is going to close the bleeder, and then we're going to let the pedal up. Make sure that you do not let the pedal up while you're bleeding air out of brakes. Then we're going to go to the outboard side and do the same thing thing that I want to point out is we're doing the inboard side because it receives the fluid first and then goes to the outboard side just so you know why we're doing it that way and we're gonna go right left rear right front left front in that sequence uh, Audi's use dot four brake fluid so make sure you use that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump up the brakes until that pedal gets nice and hard and barely goes down and if it goes down that much, you got some air in the line, and we definitely got air in the line on this system. I'm not sure why, because I never did any brake work to it. And generally, when brakes are bad, um, we don't have to take apart any of the lines. But for some reason, there's air in this system. It goes down further. Now it's hard again. So we're going to get that air out of there. And we're going to have to listen for Jeff's uh, commands, and he's going to tell us what to do. And we're just going to do that. Pumped up. Down, up, up. Down. down, up, down, up, okay. down, okay, down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Okay, go ahead and pump them up. So on the right front, we had a bleeder that when we opened it, no fluid would come out of there. So we removed the entire bleeder right down inside here. Removed the entire bleeder and we're going to go ahead and uh, clean it out on the inside and clean up the threads and stuff and make sure we can get air out of this backside caliper. This is almost like a dual caliper setup in a way. Uh, I mean, they are dual calipers, um, meaning like it has two because it has inboard and outboard pistons, 
which is not normal for most vehicles, but of course high-end luxury vehicles like your Audi are going to have things like that. Okay, so we're just quite simply drilling out the corrosion out of the bleeder screw. There's two holes on each side, we want to make sure that the center hole is free as well. That's down in the middle of it. See it pack them holes back up? Just corrosion built up down in there. Was there a little rubber grommet over the top of that one? Yeah. Okay. So we got the brakes all done. They're working excellent. Um, we don't we don't have any squishiness to our pedal any longer. Hopefully this video was helpful. You guys will subscribe. Remember that if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. Don't replace the part. Try to repair it first. God bless. Have a great day. If you want to reach out to me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on Facebook, and I'll happy to help you help you with your automotive related needs if I can.